Hello, my friends. This is Paul again. We have another novel review. This is The Half-Life of Larry K by Natasha Pulley. This was published by Bloomsbury Publishing, and it was published in 2022. This book is about 370 pages long, and it is historical fiction, and it is about Soviet-era Russia. A lot of this takes place in the early 1960s, 1963 to be exact, but we do have flashbacks from the 1950s and also from the 1930s. Now, our main character is Valery. Uh, Valery is an ex-nuclear uh, biochemist, and he has been in a Siberian prison for the last, oh, seven, ten years. Uh, he was charged as a spy, and he has been in Siberia. And this book opens up with this brutal landscape of Siberia, the awful conditions that were happening in these camps. And right away, you're like, oh man, this is going to be a brutal book, but I am going to like this. As somebody that didn't know a whole lot about Soviet era uh, history during that time, and I haven't read much Soviet fiction, it was an eye-opening book. But Valeri gets sent to a new establishment called City 40. At City 40, he is allowed to continue being a biochemist uh, as he studies the effects of radiation on mice. He is joined there by his old mentor, Dr. Rovskaya, and he meets a gentleman named Shenkov. Now, Shenkov is the head of the KGB, and they become friends. And at that point, it's not just a book about Valeri, but also about Shenkov and his backstory as well. As the book traverses uh, the plot, we have flashbacks of what happened back in the 50s um, and earlier to both of these characters and how they came to be where they are today. And I found that absolutely fascinating. So the whole plot and conflict in this book is that uh, Valeri finds out that the radiation is much worse than what people are, are saying. Moscow is saying that the radiation here is not that bad and that they're experimenting on the effects of very small amounts of radiation, but the opposite is true. And Valeri wants to get to the bottom of this and find out what really is going on at City 40. This book is based on real life events, and so with that in mind, it was even more chilling to read. I really enjoyed this because of the setting. Uh, Natasha Poli does a lot of research and her descriptions of Soviet era Russia were haunting. Uh, and City 40 with the lake nearby, um, the trees, the town nearby, you can really visualize what this area looked like and how Russia used this area to further their goals with the arms race with the United States as they studied the effects of radiation on uh, humans, on plants, on animals. So another thing that I really loved about this book is that Valery and Shenkov have this amazing relationship as friends. And I thought that was very interesting because one is a prisoner and the other is a KGB officer. As the book goes on, we find out that they have more in common than different. This was a fascinating book that I really enjoyed reading. I loved reading the backstories of the characters, finding out why they are where they are and what happened to them in the past. I love the secrecy and the heightened fear of Soviet Russia because at any time they could be listening to you. There would there be bugs and light switches and lights, and they always have to be careful of what they say. And it was so good. The setting, the atmosphere was fantastic. I highly recommend this one. It's one of my favorite uh, novels of the year so far. Of course, the year just started, but I really enjoyed it. It is The Half-Life of Larry K by Natasha Poli. Stop by your local library, pick this one up. If you like historical fiction, especially if Soviet-era 
historical fiction sounds interesting to you, I think this will be an eye-opener, and I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.